Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at the release highlights for admins for the Spring 23 release for Salesforce. I'm on the Salesforce admins page here and they post articles all the time and they've released kind of the top five highlights from the Spring 23 release. So this is actually about one of the five videos I'm releasing on the release notes. So make sure you check out the other videos. They should be coming out in the next few days. But today we're going to be looking at the release highlights number one here. So you can earn a badge in Trailhead, and once you complete the trail mix, you can enter a for a chance to win one of five cert vouchers by March 31st. So if you're interested, make sure you complete the trailhead, the trail mix. I've already done mine. So digging into some of the release notes they have down here. Support your users. Guidance sets are the best way to learn how to set up Salesforce product or feature directly within the app. Guidance sets will guide you through the content you need to set up your product. For Spring 23, we're delivering 75 new guidance sets for customers, including new guidance sets for service cloud automation features, so you can use the latest and greatest in Einstein to power your customer service experiences. So they've added 75 new guidance sets, which is a lot, so I think that is awesome. The next thing they've done is uh, you can enable mobile capabilities faster. Enable or disable mobile capabilities using the Salesforce mobile app feature panel and setup, enter Salesforce mobile app in the quick find box. Each feature details the behavior that is enabled and is in its current status. Use the toggles to turn features on or off, which will allow you to quickly customize the Salesforce mobile app to your users. This is great. I love this. Um, this was much needed before it was in multiple locations. So having this in one little area is awesome. I love this. Next thing we got is enable new standard fields to drive inclusion. So under Jenner, they've added in some more choices here and that's launching in this release as well. These updates are available for lead contact and person account objects including uh, and included the values like non-binary, they, them, and more. And they're just like standard pick list values. You can add or your own values or modify the existing ones. So they've added these in. They also have the pronouns added as well. They've updated them. And then down here, we got get started with DevOps Center. So last release, we highlighted automatic change tracking. And so now they're excited to share that the DevOps Center is now generally available. So it's going GA. So that's awesome as well. And then maintain security standards, you know, increase productivity and reduce risk with this feature so you can understand user access with sharing hierarchy. So in winter 23, you, we showed you sharing hierarchy is an action that allowed you to see a list of users who have been granted access to records through sharing rules, manual shares, role hierarchy, etc. Now when reviewing a specific user's access, you can see more details, specifically the sharing rule names and whether restriction rule blocks access to save you time. Very cool feature that they've added in. And then of course we have the security org with MFA, multi-factor authentication, so that requirement went into effect February 1st of 2022 and MFA auto enable it for Salesforce org is on the horizon. So get ready, start planning. Most, I mean, for our org at work, we're already on SSO and we have MFA as well as an option to set up users. So this is a big deal for a lot of orgs that don't have it set up yet though. And then down here, we have Explore Data with Lightning Reports and Enhancements. So new in Spring 23, you can subscribe to 15 Lightning Reports. So that's up from seven previously. So that is huge, over double. That has been an issue that we have seen for so long. So I'm glad that's over doubling. We would love to see more, but that's amazing. So to stay informed on metrics, in addition with the Spring 23 admins now have the ability to report on subscriptions and see the list of users subscribed to which reports. That's awesome as well. Love that feature that they're adding in. And then we have boost productivity with enhanced reports on mobile. Look how beautiful that is. If you've played with reports on the current mobile app, this is way better. This is something we're excited about. I'm excited about to be able to help our users have more user-friendly uh, results. You can read the details here. The link for this is in the description. They're automatically optimized for mobile devices without reconfiguring the report formats, which is awesome. So that finishes up this article. This covers the uh, you know, the release highlights. Check out the other four videos that I have for the other highlights that were out there, including flow and permission sets and stuff like that. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you, please subscribe. I put out new Salesforce content each week, and I'll see you in the next video.